super fast video rendering. Hello my friends and how are you doing? Today I want to show you how to use one 2.2 super fast super easy image to video no prompt is even needed. Big big shout out to Apex Artist where this is inspired by and also using the workflow from that creator and also a very very big shout out to the people from my discord community to help me figure all that out and fix issues and get everything running. Thanks for that. Let's get started. So first let's have a quick look here at ComfUI where this is the workflow. As you can see it's a pretty simple basic workflow. I will guide you step through step through it. Now this is basically the workflow from Apex Artist but I cleaned it up a little bit, removed some stuff that is not needed. So I'm gonna upload mine on my Google Drive but please head on the link that I provide below and have a nice comment under the video of Apex Artist. So let's zoom in here a little bit. We are using the GGUF model or GUF model as I call them uh, for the model here and we have a high noise, a low noise for the rendering of that. Then the most important part here is this LoRa which is making its way way faster because usually we would use 20 steps or 30 steps but now we only need 8 steps and it's rendering very very fast. So that's pretty good. I'm going to show you where specifically to get these files. Now here we also have the clip loader. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see the model. You should already have this model here UMT5 XXL FP8 and so on and so on. Um, so that you should already have but I will link it below anyways. Then you can see here for the text prompt we don't need anything. For the negative prompt we have these Chinese um, characters here so you can leave it as is and it works wonderful. And then interestingly enough for the VAE we are going to use the VAN 2.1. Now from what I was told the 2.1 is used for every model up to 4 and then when you go to the 5 model you want to use 2.2 but experiment with that. Now what I mean by 4 and 5 is when we go up here and I will show you this when we look at the models you can see here Q4. Now that's the quantization or the compression of the model. Um, you can also use Q3 if you have less VRAM. So I'm using Q4 here um, and then Q5 is even bigger if you have more VRAM and a better card, right? Down here we are loading the image. It is going one image to video preparing it here for the resolution for the length of the video. That's pretty important. So here is where you put the frames that you want to have in your video and then we are going to go into 2K samplers and that's pretty important here and we need the advanced K sampler. The reason why we need the advanced K sampler is because we uh, render the steps for the high model different and then separately the steps for the low model, right? Low noise, high noise, right? So here you can see for the first K sampler we having 8 steps here. Pretty important. CFG is at 1 because of the lore that we are using that's also important. The sampler in this case is UniPC. It's not Euler, it's UniPC. Very important. And then we start at step 0 and go to step 4. So half of the steps we render here. Return with leftover noise enabled. Now we go to the second case sampler. See the latent goes out here, goes in here. And then here in the second case sampler the add noise is disabled, the noise seed is 0 and the uh, control after generate is fixed. This means the seed here is fixed in that case. We have 8 steps in total. These total steps have to be the same in both. And then also CFG scale 1, UniPC for the sampler. And then in this case we start at step 4, we go to 1000. It's not going to go to 1000 of course, it's only going to 8. And return with leftover noise in this case disabled. And all of that is then going into the VAE decode and after that into the video combined so that we are creating a video here. You can already see that the video looks pretty good but it has a low frame rate as you can see here uh, with 16 frames only. So 
There is a second part here. You don't need that part, but it makes your video way smoother. And that is this frame interpolation here. You can see here the name of the note and then here multiplier 2, which means we double the frame rate. We don't double the speed, only the frame rate. And because of that, we have here again the video combiner. Now we have a frame rate of 24. Actually not double because we started with 16. Anyways, when you look at the video, you can see that it is just way, way smoother. And the quality is very, very good. It's uh, really high quality, nice details, especially if you look at the input image that I have created on Korea with Flux. And it's almost the same quality. Of course, this is higher resolution because it's an image and the video is 640 by 640. Now, let's have a look at the models that we need here. So first we're going to look at the models that we are loading. Uh, here you can see from Quantstack and we have here the image to video models A14B Chichi UF. That's pretty important. And then down here we have high noise and low noise. We need both of them. And also down here you have the VAE in case you need that. So you can click here. You see the 2.1 VAE. If you don't have that, you can download that here. Now, the important part here is you click here, for example, on high noise and you have a long list of models. Now, the Q number is getting higher. It's the quantization, which also makes the model bigger. And this depends on your VRAM that you have. You can experiment with that. And then you have here KS and KM. So KS is smaller blocks and uses less VRAM and KM is medium blocks and uses a bit more VRAM. You can experiment with that and you can also download different of these models here and see which of them work for you with your VRAM. Experiment with that. Also, here you see 5.0, 5.1. As far as I know, the compression of 5.0 is a little bit stronger than 5.1. You can also see that the model is a little bit bigger. And zero uses a single scale value per block. Now, please don't ask me what that means. I, I was told that's the better method here. So try that and maybe try the other version if you want to. And below that you can also see you have the KM and KS versions of that. Now this is for the high noise. You of course need both of these models. So there is the low noise. Again, choose accordingly. Both of the models need to match up from the type they are. And then you are downloading this because it's a GGUF model into the UNet model folder. That's very important to have that. And then here we have the lore that is just one file that you use twice on both of these models and this simply goes in the LoRa folder so that's straightforward and very easy. When you choose the LoRa, when you choose the models, make sure that here it says I2V, which means image to video, because if you choose the text to video, this is not going to work with the image input, especially also not without a prompt. So Pay attention because these files for text to video have a very similar name to that. And that is already it. It looks as easy as pancake, but I sit here for like two hours figuring all that out, trying all kinds of different models. So let's render in fast time, high quality. Enjoy, leave a like if you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And also go over to Apex Artist. Leave a nice comment there too. Thanks for watching and see you soon, my friends. Bye.